Tonight I'm going to film my nighttime routine. Um, I've got all my products in front of me. I've got a few that I, I'll just talk about everything. So I've got quite a bit. Um, I'll first start off with my cleansing routine. I am going to tonight, so I've got two cleansers that I use. Um, the first one is the Ren Cleanser. Ren Cleansing Gel. This one is nearly done and I love it. It is really gentle on the skin. Um, and then the second one is this one by Neutrogena. So I use this one depending on how my skin is feeling um, and how it looks as well. So this one is really good. It, it has no alcohol in it, so it's not drying on the skin. Um, and it's also got salicylic acid in it, so that's good for exfoliation. Um, whereas this one's just really gentle. So depending on how my skin is today, um, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go in with my pre-cleanse and then use my Ren. I like to put it on dry skin, I don't wet my skin first. So put it on my dry skin. And rub it in and what this does is it's like a two-step cleanse so first you put it on your skin and it kind of just feels like an oil that you're rubbing on and then when you add the water it adds like this milky um, kind of cleanser type thing so after after I put on my face I'm gonna rub it in my eyelashes oh after this, I'm actually going to talk about something else that I see a lot of people using as well that I only use when I'm traveling or I'm desperate. Um, but I'll show you that after this. Put a little bit more on my fingertips as well. And just rub that into the skin. And it just, it smells really fresh too. Kind of has like a fresh fresh clean scent to it so now I'm going to take the water and just rub that over my face so as you can see it's like a kind of cream texture but it this gently removes the makeup from especially my eye area so I don't like to put anything too harsh to kind of strip everything straight off the skin I first like to gently take this off especially around the eye area. So as you can see, I still have some makeup around my eyes, so it hasn't taken everything off and that's kind of the point. So I'm gonna go in with my Ren cleanser and I'm going to use my Foreo. So the Foreo is really good with removing all the dirt. It removes excess, excess oils um, and it also gently buffs the skin. So I'll put a little bit of this cleanser on there. Put some water on the Foreo and then go in to buff my skin. my face and now I'm going to gently pat dry my skin so don't kind of rub your face really vigorously just r gently pat it while I let my skin just kind of rest I spray this La Roche Posay spray on it kind of is like I use it like a toner type of thing. I don't have my witch hazel because I would normally put my witch hazel after this, but this pretty much does the same thing. It is a zinc sulfate solution. So let that just kind of dry. Now I'm going to go in and brush my teeth. All right, now that my teeth is brushed, I am going to go in so before I go in with my creams and my serums, I'll talk about the step before the cleanse. So this product removes makeup and 
similar to a makeup wipe, contains a lot of alcohol. So what that means is it's really drying on the skin and it's not it doesn't remove the makeup as gently as a cleanser would so it kind of strips your skin and strips it of the oils so i would only use this if i was say traveling or in desperate need of just using something quick and i don't have some water close by all right so now i'm going to go in with my serums um i've got a few so tonight i might use my my skin is a little bit dry, so I might use my um, hyaluronic acid. So this one over here. This one has B5 in it as well. So the hyaluronic acid, it helps with putting moisture back into your skin. Um, so once I, this doesn't moisturize your skin, but what it does is when you put moisturizers on top of this, it helps it to deeply sink into the skin. So uh, I don't forget your neck as well. So I like using this one. Um, I actually like the my other hyaluronic acid. Well, this doesn't. This contains hyaluronic acid, but this one goes a bit more deeper into the skin. So this one's from Drunk Elephant. I, use, I like using this one in the day um, because during the day I need a little bit more moisture because I'm stuck in an office, the air con's going and it's kind of drawing all of the moisture out of the air. So I like using this one in the morning um, and then I use my the ordinary one at night. So now that that is on my skin, um, I'm also going to tonight add some of the caffeine solution from The Ordinary as well, underneath my eyes. So I put all my serums on before my creams, my heavier creams. So when you put anything on your eye area, use this ring finger and kind of just dab it on your um, your eye bone and then moving on to your eyelid just kind of dab it on the top like so and then I'm gonna go in and put a cream on so tonight I will use um, sometimes I would use this one the vitamin C from the ordinary but tonight I will use my Saya. So this one is really good for providing moisture as well as reducing pigment on your face because it does have the rosehip oil in there. So I actually used to have a scar on my chin and I got it from using a hair curler um, and all I used was rosehip oil and vitamin E and it fully took the scar away. You can't even see it so I fully believe in rosehip oil. Um, so I'm going to use probably one pump of the Saya moisturizer. I like using my middle finger. Kind of disturbing it everywhere so the reason why tonight I also didn't use a exfoliant or whether chemical or physical was because I just did an exfoliant um, a couple of days ago but if I was to use an exfoliant tonight I would have used my Demologica Superfoliant or I would use my Derma E overnight peel and this is AHAs in it. So the AHAs exfoliate the skin without being too harsh. So I would use any of those three, but tonight I'll just kind of have a break. Um, now that that is in my face and all fresh, I would probably do one more of this. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was short and sweet. Um, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.